In the comments on my 60 seconds in Thailand reports, I've seen a lot of people talking about how to get into an ASQ, an alternative state quarantine facility, a quarantine hotel basically here in Bangkok. And a lot of people seem to be feeling that it's very difficult, very expensive. So I'm going to investigate today. I'm just outside my apartment at the fish pond next door. And I'll show you how quick it is to get to a quarantine hotel. I'm on Soy 23. I'm going to go to Sukhumvit Soy 18 and I'm going to tour you through the first hotel. Oh, yeah. Tokyo. Yeah. This is Tokyo in Bangkok. Tokyo in Bangkok. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> Can I get one egg? It's uh, very nice, cup. And this one, sausage, cup. Sausage, egg, and sweet, cup. Yeah. I, like, uh, I like the egg one. Yeah, cup. It's very nice. Cup, cup. 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 Oh. The name is a Tokyo. Thai people call oh, it Tokyo. Oh, Thai people call this one Tokyo? Tokyo. Oh, really? Yeah. Kanom Tokyo. Kanom Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. good to know. Kanom Tokyo. All right. Tokyo in Soy Cowboy. To uh, Tokyo <laughs> in Cow... This Soy Cowboy. This name is a Soy Cowboy. Yes. All okay. right. Cup and cap. Well, a fella has to eat. So you learn something new every day. I guess they call these Tokyo. My favorite little egg crepes. Just crossing Sukhumvit Road. I see Soy 18 right down here. The hotel is one of these right over here on Soy 18. That was about a 10 minute walk for me in real time and I've made it here out in front of the Park Plaza Soy 18. This is one of many, many ASQ approved quarantine facilities here in Bangkok. Before we go in, I should point out that my last 60 seconds, I talked about the STV, the special tourist visa, and that it was available now. A couple of my viewers have commented and said that they reached out to the Thai embassies in their home countries and they said it wasn't ready yet. So I really appreciate those comments who added to the conversation. This channel is all about trying to develop an ongoing conversation. I'm not gonna get everything right all the time. So to those two people out there who uh, corrected me and that let me know that it's still a bit of a work in progress to kickstart this STV program, in the local Thai embassies in those two countries anyway, thank you. And to those that just threw out the comments like, you're a liar, you're a liar, that, then just go away. This is central Bangkok. We couldn't be more central. You're a walk to both the BTS Asok and the MRT, the subway that's Sukhumvit Station. So this is super central Bangkok right here. Let's go in and see what it's like. You're an approved facility now. We are approved, yeah. We are approved and we're officially listed on the HSS COVID website provided by the government, which is an important requirement. Only once you're listed there, uh, you can be uh, approved ASQ properly. And when do you expect to get your first guests? Monday. Mon Monday, Monday they're they're coming. first guest coming, yeah. Part of the process is to be partnered with a hospital? You need to. You, you can only be ASQ if you are partnered with a hospital. You cannot do it by yourself, it's not allowed. And then wh who is your partner hospital? Pia Vet, Pia Vet Hospital, Pia Vet Hospital. around Rama 9. It's very important for the safety and security for the guests and our staff and the whole community around here. So we've been very strict with the policy and we have 24 hours per day, we do have a nurse in the hotel. The guests two times per day, they need to submit their temperature. We have a thermometer in the room, they need to submit the temperature to the Pia Vet nurse and confirm that they are having no symptoms, that they don't have elevated temperatures. Is there a section of the hotel that's specific for them? Is your hotel still open to non-quarantine guests? You, you cannot do that unless you're a hotel which has like two separate buildings or something like this, and I'm not. I have an entire building for my hotel. So my entire hotel is dedicated as ASQ. And once they're in the rooms, how does it work if a couple, a husband and wife comes together? Do they stay in the same room? They can. Uh, but it's a requirement that they provide a marriage certificate. So if it's just your girlfriend, then unfortunately it's not possible. It really needs to provide a marriage certificate. The good thing is that the Thai government is 
very open-minded. I checked with our hospital about this. For example, in certain countries like Australia, etc., you have uh, gay marriages or lesbian marriages, and as long as they have an official marriages, marriage certificate for this, that's approved as well. Are you qualified for this new STV, this tourist visa that's being discussed? We are, but it's not officially finalized yet. But the STV guests can stay at an officially approved ASQ hotel. And I've had a lot of comments on my channel from people saying that they think the prices for these ASQ hotels are astronomical and very <laughs> unaffordable. I'm curious what your typical package looks like. Of course we make money because it's a business, right? But the profit is far away from great. I mean, this is really something we do to help the Thai country to recover. We, I do this also because if I do this, I can pay salary to my staff. I can, you know, I can engage my staff. I can maybe even hire more people to work again for my hotel. That's the reason why I'm doing it. The workload is very heavy, profit is very limited, but it's a good thing to do until the situation turns back to normal. Yeah, I agree. I mean, this is a starting point that uh, is not perfect for anybody. No. For the traveler, for the hotel, yeah. for the country, for the staff, it's not perfect, but it has to start somewhere. Correct. And I think that's a good middle ground to start. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So tell me what your typical package includes and what the price is. So we start uh, our superior room, which is our leading category. We start at 48,000 Thai baht net which includes 10% service charge and 7% VAT. And this package already includes a free airport transfer by the hospital van, uh, includes three meals per day, includes two times a COVID test, uh, includes 24 hour service by the nurse, a uh, 24 hour uh, service by the nurse, uh, includes a free fully stocked minibar. So when the guest is coming in, they have a fully stocked minibar, they can refill it at the charge. Uh, and that includes all the services provided. And that's by forty-eight thousand baht. Yep. So that's about fifteen hundred U.S. dollars. Yeah. For yep. and that's for fifteen nights. For fifteen nights total, yeah. all and in. no hidden surcharges or something like this. You, this is what you pay for. This is what you get. And can you show us what the facilities look like? What a typical room looks like sure. for people that are shopping around for a facility? Yeah, happy to show you. They will be dropped off by a van here. Yeah. And then the guest, if it's more than one van, the second guest need to wait. So we're only going to process one guest at a time. Then here, the nurse is going to wait for them and my concierge. And we're going to do, the nurses will do a temperature check of the guest. The concierge will unload the luggage, spray it down, and then put it here in the lobby. The guest will be brought here to the lobby with the nurses. And uh, here they will do the full check-in. It will take less than a minute because we plan to do a very fast check-in. And then you can go through here to the corridor up to the rooms. So you see here all the buttons are covered by plastic and are being regularly cleaned. On the floor we also have social distancing markers. And again all the buttons here are uh, covered as well. And we have a cleaning schedule with the team once the hotel is open and operating that this is cleaned out uh, every, every hour. So here we are on the seventh floor. So when you look down here the corridor, you see everywhere tables outside, right? This is, normally we don't have that, but we have this as an ASQ, because how ASQ going to work, you see here the white tray, when the guests are staying inside the room, here they're going to get their food, they're going to get their daily food. Because for safety procedures, we're not allowed to bring the food inside the room. So the food going to be dropped here, we're going to ring the bell, and the guests can pick up themselves. So this is our deluxe city view room category, which our, is our second room category. We have, I will show you superior after it as well. So the deluxe city view are normally on the right side of the building, facing outside a lot of daylight, uh, very pretty rooms. They are 30 square meter. The mini bar is not yet set up because we don't have the guest inside yet, but here will be then the fully stocked mini bar. I will give you the flyer, you see the picture there. And then bathroom here as well with a rain shower. The Lux City view is 53,000 baht. Yeah. And this one is 70,000 baht. So this is our largest room category at 45 square meter. In terms of facilities, it's pretty much the same like the, the normal room, but of course, as you see, much larger, much more daylight. It's a very, very nice room. And the bathroom also have shower and bathtub. So this is our rooftop relaxation area. So when the guests are coming here, 
they have we have a staff standing by they need to drop off the key here uh, and they have the 45 minute relaxation time here at the end they will get a new key for their room and they can go down again to their room. And this starts on day four? Starts on day four once they have a negative COVID test on day number three. Okay. And as you see here, we have two separate areas when the guest going out. So the area on the left is for the guests going to the relaxation area. We have dedicated seats everywhere to maintain social distancing so the guests can sit on the sun beds. We have this area, then we also have an elevated terrace up there where the guests can sit as well to relax all at at least two meters social distancing. For people that do come here and go through this, I would imagine day four will be one of the best days of your life. Once you get that negative COVID test and get to come out here, wow, that'll feel good. And this is the swab area. This is where they're gonna do the COVID test because the COVID test needs to be outdoor. So here on day three and day of 11, when they have the second test, here they're gonna do their COVID test. And unfortunately pool and gym, are closed because yeah. this is a requirement by the Ministry of Health, so we cannot open that one. Okay. So guests are being teased with a very lovely view, <laughs> but unfortunately cannot use it. So there's one option for you as a quarantine hotel. Again, I'll leave all links to contact them directly about inquiring about a specific stay. I walk out, there's this hotel here, Matria. I think that's actually another hotel that's an option. So they're all over Bangkok. Finding an appropriate hotel won't be an issue. This is central Bangkok. I'm sure there's cheaper options, but $100 a night, including all three meals, including your COVID tests and all doctor's services. And then after 15 days, you're in Thailand and free to roam about the country. I don't think that's terrible. No man, no, no man, no problem. Thailand open now. They're at open. Yeah. Every, every, everything's good. And he's got Nobody. a nice, is this coffee? 20 baht. 20 fresh, baht fresh. for a fresh iced yeah. coffee. I'm gonna get one of those.